Hey guys, what's up? This is JMemorX, and I've been hearing a few different commentators talking about drugs, their experiences with drugs, a few different things like that. I was just wanting to take this little opportunity, I guess, to, to talk about you know my past um, and experiences with drugs and drug use and different things like that. I guess I'll start with how I got started with all that. Mainly the, the town that I live in, or the county, I guess. It's a small, small county in Kentucky. And I'll just put it this way. There was a raid that the police did just for narcotics. And in this raid, they hit a bunch of different houses. And they got, I would say... No, actually, they got exactly 15% of our county's population in this drug raid for uh, distribution of narcotics. So, I mean, that's where my background is here. I mean, most kids in this area, in this county, are going to be in contact with, with narcotics. Which, for those of you who don't know, are uh, things like pain pills. Um, mostly, mostly pills in this area. And... I got introduced to it, I would say, sometime when I was about 19, into the, you know, partying and different friends, because there's just no way you could avoid coming in contact with it here. And I, after I got started, you know, it was just every now and again, and <laughs> screen messed up there, I accidentally hit pause. But every now and again, I would do a little bit, and it was no big deal. So I mean, sometimes I felt a little rough the next day, but it wasn't a big deal. And then eventually it just it started, you know, it, once a week turned into every other day, turned into every day. And then it, it really became a problem. It wasn't just a thing I did for fun or just to hang out anymore. It was something that I had to do. And I don't want to lecture or anything. I wouldn't like sure at all, it would be really hypocritical, but I will say, knowing now, if I knew it then, I wouldn't have touched it. I mean, it was literally a life ruiner. I spent, I would, almost every day, hunting drugs down. Um, either me by myself, or some friends and I, we would be just hunting. I mean, it was literally our everyday life, just, just hunting drugs. And aside from that, the money it spent, though I am proud to say that I never ever stole anything to get drugs. I mean, there's a lot of people that did that around here. In my area, there was actually people that got killed trying to steal copper for drugs. I mean, it just, it's a big problem in this area, and then for a couple of years, it was a big problem for me. And it's just ridiculous how far people would go and how far I went a few times. I mean, there are things I'm not proud of. I wasn't perfect. I mean, I can't say that I was perfect when I was a drug addict. But it's just, it's a its a really tough place to be. I don't, I don't really know what to say exactly about it, but it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, I spent a lot of money, a lot of my family members, didn't and still probably have a hard time trusting me. Almost ruined my relationship with my wife. Um, it was it was a tough time. And I would I would just say, like I said, I'm not going to lecture or anything like that. But I mean, if, if most of the the kids, I mean, I know a lot of kids play Call of Duty and just video games in general. Eventually, at some point, kids are going to end up coming in contact with different drugs and I don't want to say don't do them I don't want to lecture or anything like that but I want to at least say if you do try anything don't don't do it every day I, would, I wouldn't even do it two days in a row it's it's just not a good idea I mean that's how people get addicted and I know it's different for every drug how fast you can get addicted but I mean I think it's a good general rule of thumb definitely not two days in a row and uh, I mean if you want to experiment do it once twice stop because it, it'll it'll screw you up 
and you know I, I don't want to just talk about oh drugs are bad drugs are bad uh, let's go I'll tell you all a story about I've got a couple stories um, both of them won't fit in this video so I'll actually <coughs> tell the short one first about when I was starting to be into recovery and in the next video I'll tell the longer one so my friend and I were uh, we were in recovery and there's this uh, recovery drug that you can get it actually helps you get off of pills and, and it gets you cleaned up and you can get it at doctors but there's waiting lists so drug dealers started actually selling this we were out looking for this one day and this guy had talked to my friend and told him that he could come up and get this it's called Suboxone said that he could come up and get it anytime he wanted so we went up there and my friend and I we went in and the guy I mean he wasn't he was a drug dealer he wasn't he wasn't like holding guns or anything he had guns in his house but it wasn't like one on his hip so we were we were there and he took my friend back into the into the room and he told he, he wanted my friend to check out his lotions and he's like all right so after he started showing my friend his lotions he started telling my friend to put his lotion on so i mean and he was like insistent too he wasn't he wasn't just asking he was telling him to put lotion on and he was like put that on and smell it like he's a big redneck he's like you gotta put that lotion on and smell it and you know he did and i mean it was it was kind of weird it, silence of the lambs type shit it was it was awkward but <laughs> the video is winding down i mean it's just a little story about a drug dealer telling my friend to put lotion on uh, i hope you guys have a nice day